I'm John. And I'm Sonia. And welcome to Well Aged Cruisers. This is the packing video. Yay! That means it's time to go. It's time to go. So on this video, just a couple little things. Um, at the end of the video, we have our packing checklist. Oh yeah. So you can watch it, make your own spreadsheet. That's what we have as a spreadsheet and not everything applies um, you'll have to decide the quantities uh, all of that so the other thing to know right now this is the packing video this is also the time to make sure that you've noted the not, notified your credit cards oh yes <laughs> um, notified the post office to stop bringing mail if you don't have people at your house still um, checking to make sure all of your electronics are updated all the firmwares are done that you've downloaded ebooks if you're going to take an e-reader because when you get on the ship your uh, Wi-Fi time is extremely valuable and goes by fast and the Wi-Fi is really slow yeah so you don't want to be getting some big Windows 10 update downloading to your laptop that you need to use and it takes a half hour on the cruise ship and then you've lost that time so anyway those are just your friendly <laughs> reminders <laughs> coming from the IT guy <laughs> coming from the IT guy yes and I've been there so anyway um, you also get to see how a more um, engineering thinking mind packs compared to a more uh, artist like thought pro process true so um, Sonia actually got double stuff in than I got. We're leaving tomorrow night. Late, <laughs> Late. tomorrow night. We have a, a, a red eye flight and we will be in, we leave around midnight and we'll be actually in Florida at about 10.30ish. And we've set up our check-in and COVID testing for noon. 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 12 to 1230 and people were getting confused on that that the check-in and the test it's the same it's the same it's the same time you just select one time and that covers your testing and check-in we're gonna see if we can pack this trip up in uh, all of that what I've got here is my water shoe sandals I will wear these most of the time I will wear the shoes that I'm going to wear t for dinners to start out the trip with. That's the only shoes I'm taking. Got the hats here. Got my waterproof uh, wind rain jacket. And I will actually put that into my personal item bag so I have it with me because it may be raining when we get into Miami. Workout shorts. Traveler's underwear, swimsuits, uh, three of the dry wicking stretchy t-shirts. I've got my dry wicking fast drying shorts to wear during the day. I have three tank tops over here. I have my two pairs of dress pants and I will wear a pair there, so that'll give me three pairs to alternate through. My big highlight is my Hawaiian shirts for dinner, so I'm packing one for every night because, well, let's face it, dancing for two to three hours every night, getting a second wearing out of these is gonna be difficult. So that is my clothing. Let's get it packed up and see how it all fits in the compression packaging. Okay, so this is my first compression bag and in it I have the t-shirts, the tank tops, the underwear, the swimwear, the uh, workout shorts and my three other shorts. Now I'm going to see if I can zip it up. So 
So we use the roll method. I'm not going to really show videos on how we roll up our stuff. There are lots and lots of YouTube videos on that and people make it look really cool and professional. Um, you know, it obviously takes a little practice to do that type of packing. And you know, mine doesn't look all beautiful and pristine like those videos do because I've probably spent hours and hours for a five minute video. So right now we are just going to zip it closed. Okay, so that one's done. Now let's get the air out of it. I've seen people use these on videos and sit on them. Might be a might be a worthy uh, method. Well, previous to these, we've used the vacuum pack ones where you uh, use like a vacuum cleaner or I've got one that has a little pump that it comes with that you can suck the air out. And those work pretty good too. I'm just trying these, this new style out, or new style to us anyway, to see if we like them better. Definitely a little more of a coordination thing on these than the other ones. And success. Now I had to pause the video and go up, sit on a chair, sit on it. And it took me a while. My only regret is that I didn't start my fitness timer to get some added uh, calorie burn for today. But uh, it's done. I'm sweating. Probably hindsight, I probably put too much in this particular one. This is my first time with these. Um, but you know, I am a guy, so I'm going to try to maximize everything I possibly can. However, on the way home, I probably won't pack it that tight. It also brings up some other questions like, if that zipper ever gave way while on the airplane, could I be charged as blowing up a plane? Okay, so this is the second bag packed now. This is my pants and my Hawaiian shirts. I did something a little bit different this time to see if it makes that um, compression process a little easier is I just folded the top two shirts rather than try to make another layer of folded stuff. We'll see how this one goes. Okay, so this one went a lot smoother. Um, you can kind of see by comparison that it's not quite as bulgy. <laughs> it's also not quite as heavy as that other one. This is probably a good time to talk about wrinkles. Um, the reason why we roll is we have found that it does keep the wrinkles out a little better. We also pack a tra uh, travel size downy wrinkle remover spray in case we have some stubborn wrinkles but really since you're going into a high humidity type environment just get your stuff unpacked and hung up as soon as possible and the humidity will help pop those wrinkles back out you can also on something extremely wrinkled you could put it in the bathroom as you shower and let that steam help you and of course you can always ask for a um, ironing board or you can use the uh, ship's service. So now let's see how this stuff all looks in my suitcase. Okay, this is a carry-on bag again. I'm gonna put the heaviest one to the back. Next one. And I was not going to put my sandals in my bag. I was going to put them um, in my personal item bag, but I've got room. And there it is. I've got room around the edges to pack small stuff like my toothbrush case and some of our toiletries. I can also get our hats in there. So next step is packing up the toiletries. Okay, so I now have toiletries and some of the miscellaneous items here on the table. These are all the items that I will pack in my bag. 
my electronic items I tend to put in my personal bag and keep with me as well as my umbrella and those kinds of things. So now let's get this stuff all gathered up and put into the bag. Okay, there she is. She's all packed up. I've got room to add any last minute items in there still. I'm feeling really pretty good. Um, I think I'm liking these new compression type packing cubes. I do feel like I've gotten more stuff in my bag in smaller space. So now I'm going to go ahead and pack up my electronics bag and my personal carry-on bag. Okay, so for my personal carry-on bag, this will be um, mostly my electronics, anything that I want to keep with me. Because sometimes when you do a carry-on bag, a lot of times when you get to the actual um, boarding area on the plane, they will ask you if you want to check it all the way to your destination. So sometimes that's a, a nice way to just get rid of your other bag and then you just have one bag with you. So with this one, I'm gonna obviously have my travel pillow over here. I'll carabinger that to the outside. Sunglasses, our drinking straws, my laptop, mouse, my e-reader, umbrella, Game Boy, and all this other stuff is charging equipment and camera equipment, and of course my uh, rain jacket behind. Let's see if I can get all of this stuff in this bag. So I opted to make a change. I'm going to put the binoculars, the mouse, some of my tripods and extension sticks in my suitcase because I have room. And I'm going to put my travel pillow inside the bag rather than clip it to the outside. And then we should be good. I still have a little extra room. I can carry a drink still. I've got this piece here in the front that's uh, available for stuff. So feeling pretty good so far. And I did it. I got everything I needed. I even grabbed my fanny pack, waste bag, whatever you want to call it, um, that I use when I'm at port to carry my camera gear with me there instead of taking the big bag. And I got that in too. So I still have room for a little bit more. Let's see how Sonia does with her packing. Okay, so now Sonia is starting her packing. Okay, for me, we're going to start with the dresses, because I usually wear dresses in the evening. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dresses, and two cover-ups for swimwear. Okay. And all that's going to go in this little bag. Okay, so I'm just going to fold it up, and then I fold it in half again, and then I roll it up this way. And it gets stuffed in this bag. I start with this stuff that has sleeves because I only have two. Two sleeves? <laughs> two sleeves. You have two arms. I have two it's arms. It's awesome how that works out. I only have two dresses with sleeves because I prefer sleeveless dresses. And Sonny and I roll differently. Absolutely. Because, well, we have two different personalities. You are neat, I am not. Because I don't care if it gets wrinkled, I'm just going to, I take a, a small travel water bottle and I will just spray everything down lightly with a little bit of water, hang it in the closet, and then the wrinkles fall out, and if it still has wrinkles, I'm on vacation, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. I mean, yeah. I mean, honestly, nobody really cares what you look like no, on a cruise no one's ship. Everyone's looking at me. Everyone's looking at the wine lists or the beer lists or the activities for the day. Or the drunk people. Well, in the mornings, nobody's that drunk. Maybe hungover, but everybody has something else on their mind and they're not going to care if 
Well, and to be honest with you, we all are in the same boat. <laughs> same we all have the same wrinkles, yeah. the same packing. No one cares. We're just on vacation. Sonia's method is a lot faster than the method that I chose to use. I'm lazy. I mean, really, when it comes down to it, it's what I can do in the fastest amount of time. And this dress is really slippery. I shouldn't say I'm lazy. I should just say I'm time efficient. I just the most done in the least amount of I'm time. just waiting to see you zip up that first bag because man, mine was a workout. <laughs> I had to sit on it. I'm not gonna put that much stuff in it. Yeah, well I didn't think I did either, but I did, I guess. I won't do it this well, I didn't do it the second time. I won't do it coming home either. I've I've learned my lesson. That bag looks. It's not. Hold on. I was gonna say that bag looks really full. It's not. Oh, okay. I've got to zip it up a little bit so I can stuff this last one in there. Okay. Otherwise, it'll be hanging out the end. Okay. All right, we're gonna film her struggling to zip hers up. Okay, this is looking really easy. smiling and laughing at me man I, I I like I said I broke a sweat I was sitting on it so clearly my stuff's either just thicker and heavier to deal with or I just really overpacked that first one no it takes some work but being a mom I know how to shove lots of things into small spaces I found yeah you really got to work the zippers you do, you do really have to Hers is definitely going better than mine did. She's not done yet though. We'll see if she has to sit on it. I won't have to sit on it. This is not a win for the men. <laughs> My conclusion was the vacuum pack bags are easier to use, but I think I like these better. I actually think they do a nicer job at compressing and being more uniform. When you use the vacuum pack bags, they kind of like make a rock. They do. I mean, that's really what you have is you just pack this rock into your bag and it follows every contour of every piece of clothing in the, in the bag. Wow, I'm just really impressed. I should have had you do mine. And okay, that's that it. She got it done. Okay. Okay, so this is what you would probably consider your daytime wear. This is my day wear. So this is out and about during the day on the ship or short excursions. So I have a skirt, two squirts, two shorts there's actually going to be one more but it's in the laundry and then i have three tank tops and i will have three t-shirts because that's Whew. also in the laundry so she has tripled what i've packed i find that hard to believe i don't know because i don't fold in half so i just i fold it in thirds and roll it up the bottom wear goes in first because it takes a little more room and then I can stuff the t-shirts in around on the edges. So you've probably already gathered that I think in straight lines and angles. I do not. And Sonia thinks in curves and swirls. There's a difference between an engineering brain and, and an artistic brain. Yep. So there you go. So in this video, you get the engineer version and you get the uh, crafty autist, autistic, artistic, autistic, <laughs> artistic 
version. Okay. All right, we'll be back after she gets this one put together. Okay, second bag done and in the bag. Second bag is done and in the bag. You can see it. Yep. Then this one is underwear, sleepwear, loungewear. This one's all swimwear. I'm not going to pull it all out and yep. it. Just for the sake of time. Okay, so all of the compression packs for Sonya are done up. Yep. And she's going to put, looks like two of the large ones in the bottom. And one. And one. And then here's just my, my skin care, hair care. I don't pack much. Face wipes, I've done that for eight days. Let's go in my bag. Let's put this in here. and then I'll wear some casual shoes. What are you dancing in? Uh, either the flats or the casual shoes or the sandals or whatever I have on. Okay, I well, care. I guess that makes it easy. And then I have two hats that pack up very easily. And that is pretty much everything. I will throw a kernel iron in here. I didn't pack it because I don't want to unpack it. So the, it's actually kind of amazing how I had to use both of my bags. Of course, I did pack most of the toiletries. Well, your shoes take up a whole suitcase, just one pair, because, well, right. you, you have a big foot and I have a little foot. But she still has her personal know. bag that she hasn't I packed. I haven't put anything in it, and I don't know that I, well, I don't know. Well, you're going to have reading glasses, probably your jacket. Yeah, um, iPad. your iPad, um, that kind of stuff. So, so she's easily gonna make it. Yeah, that's with all. We, those two bags. And I probably pack more clothes than I need. We always do. I always do, but that's a week's worth of cruise attire in a carry-on. I need it all in a carry-on. Awesome. All right.